This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Victorian literature referred to the literature written during the reign of Queen Victoria of England. This was from 1837 to 1901. This type of literature mainly focused on the strict social, political, and sexual conservatism of the time. During this period, England experienced a series of changes and upheavals unseen before in the earlier eras. Every institution was undergoing an unpredictable change that swept throughout England. There were improvements in steam engine technology, which resulted in more outstanding factory production. The economies of Europe were growing at an accelerated rate, and, as a result, there was the creation of large amounts of wealth. However, this newly created wealth could only benefit the middle class. The sacred and indisputable truth propagated by the church was seriously challenged by scientific advancement. It was at this period that Charles Darwin came up with his theory of natural selection, where life got reduced to a bloody struggle for one to survive. Furthermore, the new market economy, which favored industrial development, discouraged agriculture, and, as a result, large numbers of farmers and peasants lost their livelihoods and had to move to the cities in search of employment. This resulted in congestion in towns and cities and saw them coming up with slums and shantytowns, where the majority of the working class lived. These rapid changes appeared as a source of hope and optimism for other writers, but many of the literary writers of that period were against this and spoke out in opposition to the unfair treatment of the masses. One of the most prominent traits of Victorian poetry was that most poems portrayed the themes of isolation, alienation, and the distinction between love and life. The poem Ulysses by Tennyson is a monologue that reflects on his isolation and hunger to explore the world. His poem talks about a range of issues, from political to historical and even scientific matters. Another feature of Victorian poetry was that most of the literary writings had a moral purpose. The poems intended to oppose and speak against the unfair social and political systems in England during the Victorian era. Through his poems, Tennyson tackled issues that were of social and political concern to Victorian society. He gave voice to the poor and reformed the society in which he lived. His university life exposed him to the policies faced by the masses, and he became part of the most important issue in Victorian society at that time, namely the enactment of parliamentary reform. Another essential characteristic of Victorian poetry was that it was highly idealistic and tackled issues of truth love, and justice. Many of the poems of this era dealt with problems like women's repression in society and corruption by those in authority. The poem Goblin Market by Christina Rosetta reflects the role of women in society and especially their role in building the economy. In the poem An Artist's Studio, the writer talks about the tendency of Victorian poets to objectify women and experiment on them as if they were objects of beauty. In the poem, the artist views his female subject as objects without any emotions, which he can hardly manage and which he does not know what to do with for her to fit his plans and thoughts on the matter. The poem Goblin Market by Christina Rossetti is a poem that talks about the feminist glorification of sisterhood. There are many terms in the poem that works as the features of portraying the Victorian era, such as commerce, trade, and exchange. They allude to the Victorian economy and capitalism together with the role of women within the society. In literature, the modernist period refers to the period shortly after the beginning of the 20th century. Most of the writers got inspired by the horrors and atrocities of the First World War. The literature of this era focused more on modern Western ideas, religion, social conventions, and morality. In this period, experimentation and individualism set modernism into motion. The difference between modernist literature and Victorian literature was that in modernism, the focus was on Western ideas and the future, while Victorian literature focused on the culture that existed in England at that time. The two world wars set the world, and especially Europe, in a state of cultural shock. In modernism, there was a strong sense of similarity in all genres. 
the modernist culture was a reaction to the Victorian way of life, which had dominated most in the 19th century. Modernist literature was greatly stimulated by the new radical developments and a new way of looking at life. One of the most distinctive features of modernism was that it had a solid and intentional break with tradition. There was a strong reaction against the established norms in the society, which were religious, political, and social views. Modernism literature completely departed from the conventionalities of the 19th century and experimented in a way it has never been seen before. This included literary works like Thomas Stern's Eliot's The Wasteland and Joyce's Ulysses. This kind of literature broke from the literary tradition that they inherited and came up with a completely different form from Victorian literature. In modernism, there was also the belief that the world was what people perceived it to be. Another feature of modernism was the belief that there is no such thing as absolute truth since all things are relative. In modernism, there is also no link with history or institutions, instead, most of their experiences exhibit alienation, loss, and despair. In James Joyce's The Dead, the central themes are mortality and isolation. The story has a mixture of happiness with sadness. The author joins the themes of mortality and solitude, and the separation brought about by the dead signifies the isolation faced by those who are still living. In modernism, Life is one of disorganization and disorder and the championship of the personal and celebration of inner strength. Its concern is more with the subconscious parts of the mind. In Tietz's poem, The Lake Isle of Innisfree, the last line expresses the need for the persona to stay true and follow the desires of his deep heart's core. The poem The Lake Isle of Innisfree by Yeats reflects the frustrations brought about by the Industrial Revolution. He longs to break away from noisy urban life and goes to a place where he will experience peace. Most of the modernist literature dealt with the themes of mortality, isolation, and old age. This research paper on Victorian poetry and its characteristics was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one, on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.